everybody. It's Mike here at Patterson Photography and First Choice Photo in Lethbridge, Alberta. Today is May 21st, 2020 and it's raining pretty heavy outside so I thought I would do some short videos to help you get some better pictures from your camera when it does clear up and we're allowed to get out a little bit more. So today I want to talk about something that's very important to your camera and that is your batteries or more specifically your battery life. Now for most digital cameras the battery that's in your camera will last you at least a day for shooting. Now, it depends how long you use your camera during the day, and it depends what features that you're using. Now, with a DSLR camera, which is what this one is here, I find one battery will get me through an entire day of shooting. You're not shooting the entire day, you're taking pictures here and you're taking pictures there, so it's not like you're shooting for 24 hours or for 12 hours or for 8 hours. You're actually only shooting for maybe 20 minutes or 30 minutes in the course of an entire day. But on my cameras, I like to do something a little bit different, and that is I have a battery grip on the bottom of my cameras. Now, why do I have the battery grip? Well, there's several different reasons. The first reason is, is that it gives me a bit better grip on my camera. The second reason is because it changes all my buttons so when I'm shooting vertically, I'm not reaching over and making my elbow sore by reaching over. But most importantly, the reason that I like it is because it has two batteries in it. So what it allows me to do is it allows me to put two fully charged batteries in the camera and then it drains from both batteries simultaneously. So that gives me double the shooting time that a single battery would have. Now, you do not by any means need to have this. This for me, it was just nice because I like the bigger grip and I also like the change where the buttons are on it and where the shutter is. So I found that this was a benefit to have. Another benefit to this is, which I thought I would use, but I've never used it yet, is it also comes with a double A battery pack that you can substitute out if you should happen to run out of battery power for the ca camera batteries that come with it. I've never yet used that. I've carried it. I have it with me on most of my cameras. It's got batteries in it, but I've never used it. So what do you do if you only have one battery in your camera? Well, first thing is, before you go out shooting, charge it. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You would not believe how many events I'm at when people start to take pictures and their batteries die after the first picture or two. So very simple, charge your battery. Simplest thing that you can do. Now, if you find your battery's not holding the charge like it used to, you may have to upgrade to a new battery. I've yet to find a camera battery that dies within the first three, four, or five years. If they're looked after properly, if you don't abuse them, they generally last for quite a while. But if you do use them quite often and you do charge them quite often, you may find that there's a flaw in them or something, and you may find it's not keeping as much as a charge. So if you do find that the camera is, seems to be going through batteries quicker, it may be time to buy a new battery. The second thing that you want to do is you want to have two batteries. Why do you want to have two batteries? Well, it's pretty simple. Before you go out shooting, whether it for, be for a day, a week, a month, whatever it is, charge up both batteries. Then you put your charged battery in your camera and you start using it. Pretty straightforward. The thing where most people go wrong is now they will take this battery and they will charge it. Then they'll put it back in their camera and they'll continue using it. Then they take this battery out and they charge it and then they put it back in their camera and they continue to use it. This does two things. First thing is, is that you're always having to remember to charge this battery. The second thing is this battery is getting worn more so than what this battery is. And finally, the thing that's the worst part about the whole thing is, if you keep a battery in your camera bag for a long time, it'll gradually lose its charge. Now, it doesn't lose it overnight. It doesn't lose it in a week or two weeks. In fact, I found batteries that I've had stuck away in a drawer. I pulled them out and they still had 99% charge and it was months that they had been sitting in there. So it's not like it's going to run out of charge in a day or a week or anything like that. But what you should be doing is when you start a trip or when you start a photo shoot, start with one battery. Then when this battery starts to get low, you take this battery out, then you replace it with this battery. You then charge this battery. When you've charged this battery and then this battery starts to get low, you take this battery out and you keep rotating. If you do that, you'll always be assured that the battery that you have separate, the extra battery is fully charged. 
Also, this assures that both batteries get used equally. Now, people ask me, how long will a battery last in your camera? As I mentioned before, there's no way to tell. I've had people walk into my studio and they say they can't get through an entire day with their camera battery. They have the same camera that I have, they have the same battery that I have, but they can't get through an entire day. I ask them how they take pictures and they inform me that they use the screen on the back of their camera, which I don't recommend anyways, or they're always using their flash. That will draw your camera battery down faster. If you're out shooting nature and wildlife photos, one battery is going to last you easily a day if you're not using the LED screen on the back. If you're using this screen, you'd probably end up going through two batteries in a day. Now, it depends again how much you're using the screen. If you got the screen on all the time, then it's going to drain more camera batteries. Now, here's something that has happened in the last little while, and I've had a lot of people phone me very concerned and ask me if it's right, if I think that their camera's broken, so on and so forth. What that is, is the newer point and shoot cameras, hybrid cameras, and the new mirrorless cameras that are out. They go through batteries like a kid goes through a candy store. It devours them. Why? Because there's no longer an optical viewfinder on most cameras. Everything is done on the screen on the back of the camera. Because this screen is on all the time, it drains the batteries a lot quicker. Depending upon the setting on your cameras, you can set the screen so that it very seldom goes off and it's always on. If that's the case, it drains the batteries very fast. I had one of my customers come in, he switched from a DSLR camera to a mirrorless camera and within the first week he contacted me and says, I've gone through two batteries a day shooting and I haven't shot very much. He said, I just, I don't understand it. I said, yeah, that sounds about right. When I talked to him the next time, he ended up buying 20 batteries to get him through a day. He was always replacing batteries. He says he would put a new battery in in the morning, and by the time he started shooting that day, because he had his camera on, the battery is already half dead. Now, is this a drawback? To me it is. I don't really want to carry 20 batteries with me. To him, he put up with it for a while, and then he found that his battery usage was just insane, so he ended up switching back to a DSLR, and he used the optical viewfinder. It's something that you're going to have to decide. It's something that's going to be your decision. But yes, the newer cameras that don't have the optical viewfinder, that the screen on the back is on all the time, will use a lot more batteries. Now, charging your batteries. We all know what the battery charger looks like that comes with the batteries. It plugs into the wall, the battery goes into it, and away you go. The great thing about them is, is that they're very small and they're very portable. And if you have a newer vehicle that has 110 volts in your vehicle, you can charge your batteries while you're out driving. It works great. If you don't have a newer vehicle or your newer vehicle doesn't have 110 volts in it, what you can do is you can go and get an inverter from either Canadian Tire or Best Buy or whatever shop that you go to. And you put this in your vehicle, it plugs into the 12 volt cigarette lighter in your vehicle or accessories uh, plug in in your vehicle and it will charge your batteries as you're driving. This is great, especially if you're out for a few days shooting. If you can help it, I always tell people, try not to charge your batteries in a hotel room. Why, is there anything wrong with the power? Nope. Is there anything wrong with doing it? Nope. Other than the simple fact that I've had more people come in and tell me they forgot the battery being charged in the hotel room and that they were messed up for the rest of the trip because they had left the hotel, they had driven for a day, and when they went to charge the battery the next day, they found out that the battery and the charger that was supposed to be their backup battery and their only charger was left in the hotel room from the night before. So I always tell people, if you can, charge it in your vehicle. There's nothing wrong with taking the battery out of your camera and plugging it in your vehicle when you start your drive in the morning and then taking it out at night, putting that battery that's fully charged in your camera and putting the next one in the next morning. Nothing at all wrong with that. And charging it in the vehicle, at least you know where it is at all times. Other thing that people ask me all the time is how subjected are batteries to dying in the cold? It really depends how cold, it really depends where and how you use them. I go out shooting all the time in minus 20 and minus 30 and my batteries work perfectly. There's no issues whatsoever. 
if I was going to be out an entire day shooting an assignment for a company, what I would probably do is take one of my batteries out of the holder and put down an inside pocket and keep it warm so when this battery starts to go down in capacity, then I could replace the battery. Then I would take this battery, I'd put it in my inside pocket and let it warm up a bit. And if I keep them semi-warm, they'll keep, maintain a lot more of their capacity. But in the most conditions that people are going to be out there shooting, you will not see a battery die in those conditions. I hope that helped you to learn a little bit about battery care and to how to look after your batteries. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and I hope to see you out shooting soon. Take care.